Well, I want to point out something that might be a little bit interesting. You probably already know the answer to this damn uh, riddle. What's more dangerous than a car accident or uh, death by guns in Tennessee? You know, car accidents can be pretty, cars can be pretty dangerous, you know? Like, hey, you know, they could just trees getting away and stuff like that, or they just flip over on the top of the roof uh, every once in a while for some crazy reason. You know, it has nothing to do with the driver, of course. But, uh, you know, what happens? You know, what's even more dangerous than a car accident or a gun in Tennessee? You know, hey, well, let's show a regular gun here like a real one. Hey, <laughs> yeah, and, or more than one. Actually, it's doctors and their prescription meds. They're, they're, they're painkillers. Um, you know, it's like painkillers are killing more people than either guns or cars in the state of Tennessee. It's amazing, you know, hey, there should be a ban on K painkillers. Or, you know what, there needs to be a microscopic examination of these pharmaceutical professionals and medical professionals of what the hell they're actually doing. Or maybe people need not, not to be to describe these type of things because it's not doing them any good, right? You know, hey, peace, uh, have some, some of this crazy stuff I hear I got in my hand, you know. Hey, man, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, well, let me put it to you this way. It, when anything it's big business, they're not going to ban big business. You know, the people that sell pharmaceutical drugs, they make a lot of money. The people that sell cars kind of make a lot of money, but the people that sell guns don't make a lot of money. But uh, hey, you know, it's they're pushing these little funny pills, and it comes down to the fact that actually most people are nothing but one big pill, man. They're just shoving these things down their throat left and right. Not so much a bad thing if it's vitamins or natural herbal concentrations or like a um, blueberry concentrate that equals in a whole um, four ounce serving of blueberries in a pill or something like that and it's actually from the natural substance but no these are concocted in chemical laboratories so uh, you know it's like the magic you know people are always looking for a magic pill to change their self change their psyche make them feel better uh, make them something special or whatever, you know, get rid of some, not even just get rid of some pain. It could be get rid of some pain, but everybody's looking for a magic pill. And, you know, the thing is, a magic pill really is nature itself. Um, nature cannot be surpassed, actually. Just nature is a little bit slower. Nature requires a little more work. And, uh, you know, the thing is, we need to stop listening to the dictator-in-chief over here and whoever's going to be his replacement. Um who's hand-chosen by the elite, of course, because we know that's the deal. Even Jimmy Carter was hand-chosen by the elite. You know, way back when, Jimmy Carter, he was hand-chosen by the elite. Nobody's an upstart. Obama's not an upstart. He was hand-chosen by the elite. But, you know, the policies that we always see are pushing towards uh, restriction on gun control, restriction on freedom of movement through Google cars, and also we're going to start seeing a lot more forced medication through <clears throat> Obamacare or government care. So, let's fight the damn power. And uh, as we say, don't just push them back. Push them way, way back. You know what I mean? Let's push these guys right off the freaking side of the cliff. And uh, by any means necessary, man. <laughs> these are special magic potent pills in this uh, weapon here. They, they, there are 160 grain lead poison pills for the freaking zombies that are pushing these policies on us. And uh, just please drive carefully while you're freaking out there fighting the powers. Don't go running into any trees or flip your ride over. Because then I'll be pushing for this damn Google Cars crap again. Actually, I own a Suzuki Samurai. And they're supposed to be the ones that flip over on the roof all the time. And I owned it for about 30 years. I ain't done this yet, yet, man. So I uh, tell you what, man. I'm not one to be controlled, and I don't want to be controlled. But let's uh, let's recognize what they're going to be doing with these pill pills and stuff like that when Obamacare comes into full play. And do not believe this Hillary Clinton yo-yo lady who's talking about because actually, you know, she's in there pushing for gun control left and right. And you know what? She says she's flipping on a position on Obamacare and government care to force you from, uh, you know, about uh, taking pills and all that type of stuff, but I guarantee you she's not. I'll guarantee you she's not. So anyway, let's fight the power together, and you know, I'm going to tell you right now, the elite are nothing but human, but, um, you know, the problem is with a lot of people, they're, they just get diverted by giddy rumors and things like that, and rather than taking constructive action, 
uh, probably one of the best things you could do is uh, just stock up on organic foods and, uh, you know, stock up on, on your, your bullets and beans and bacon and all that type of stuff. And, you know, when the powers freaking try to come and slam you down, we can slam them back. So everybody wants to live in peace, harmony, and freedom. And uh, let's let, let that be our goal, peace, harmony, and freedom. And it, let the meanies on the top be thwarted and stopped dead cold because, you know what, after this guy goes away, we're going to have another freaking chosen candidate. Who the hell knows? Yeah, you know, it might even be Donald Trump for all I know. I mean, if the guy looks okay on the outside, but then again, I mean, he doesn't look too bad. But, uh, you know, the thing is, hey, you know, you never know. If he's chosen and he's in, hey, I could say the elite picked him. Whoever's the president, the elite pick. So, you know, watch out for the, uh, you know, when we, oh, we got him on the run bullshit because we don't got him on the run at the presidential level. We can get him on the run on a local level. And stay true to the cause, man. Stay true to the cause. Keep on with that ideology whereby we realize that what they're trying to do. And uh, actually, it's a, it's, it is a fact. It is a fact in the state of Tennessee. You're more likely to die from prescription drugs than you are from a car accident or from a gun. That's a pretty interesting fact, isn't it? 